Welcome to the Husband's Coach's Corner, the podcast that teaches husbands how to love their wife every day and become better men in the process. I'm your host, Chris Scott, a.k.a. The Husband Coach. Welcome back to all the husbands out there. I pray that you've all been blessed. And today is an exciting topic that I had to learn early on in the marriage, affirmations for my wife. Now, before we get too deep into the content, I have to ask, if you find this information helpful, please share it with someone and write the review. It helps to grow the exposure of the show, and more importantly, it helps husbands that are looking for a helpful resource to find one. All right, well, let's jump into the content. If you don't know what an affirmation is, the official definition from Webster is an action of validating or confirming something. So essentially what we're doing is validating or confirming something that our wife does, did, whatever the case is. So what do you want to confirm or validate for your wife? I'm going to tell you the number one answer, the golden answer is her insecurities. You want to validate the things that she feels the most insecure about because that's going to show that you love her that much more. Now, some examples of insecurities would be finances. Uh, If you don't have enough money or if you're struggling financially, she's struggling financially. She wants to work. You don't want her to work. Look, that's something that you guys got to work out in the marriage. And finances is something that you have to validate or affirm beauty. You know, women grow up with so much pressure on them to look like whatever the magazine tells them to. And there's some insecurities when it comes to beauty. Don't let your wife feel like you don't believe she's beautiful. You have to affirm her beauty. All right. And then one of the other things along the same lines as beauty is weight. There's a lot of women out there that are so concerned about their waistline or what the scale says or things like that. And truthfully, you know, obviously we want to live strong, healthy lives and be as healthy as possible. But at the same time, as a husband, we should be affirming our wife that her weight is not the beauty that you find in her. And if it is something that is a sensitive topic for you, then that's probably something you guys need to be talking about. But nonetheless, you want to affirm those things, especially if it's not something that truly bothers you or offends you. Now, again, you are the expert of your wife. And if you're a newlywed, then you have to start learning these things about your wife because one, welcome to the journey of being a husband. But two, when you're a newlywed, you're going to have to pay attention so much more to the things that your wife does because you're starting to learn how to live together if you haven't already been living together or you're starting to learn things that your wife does on a regular basis that you just had no idea she does because now you're married and you're starting to figure things out about your wife. Secrets, things that are from the past that start to bring themselves up. Uh, be it on Facebook, Instagram, whatever the case is, those are things that you're starting to learn about your wife. And you want to you want to make sure that if there's something that is an insecurity that your wife has for all the newlyweds and even all the experienced husbands out there, it doesn't matter how long you've been married. You want to affirm your wife in the things that she's insecure on. Understand, I'm not saying that you want to remove the insecurity. Okay, that that is absolutely not what I'm saying. You do not want to remove your wife's insecurity because those those things are real for her. And if you try to fix her, that's not going to work out well for you, fellas. So (laughs) just stay away from it. Don't do it. We're not trying to fix our wives. We're trying to love our wives. And better yet, we're not trying. We are loving our wives. All right. And if you listen to this podcast, I'm affirming to you that you are a husband looking to better yourself. So that means you are. And and if you're implementing these things, you are a man who is loving your wife on a consistent basis. So there is no try. We're only doing because that's what we are. We're doers. So why do we want to affirm insecurities in our wife? That That's a good question. You know, why the insecurities? I kind of went over it before, but Again, our wife is looking to us as the man, as the husband, to feel loved in a very, very intimate way. That intimacy, it it goes deeper than sex, guys. I I get it. Sometimes the word intimacy kind of gets wrapped around 
as sex and touchy filly type stuff. And man, let me tell you, intimacy goes so much deeper than the physical sense. Intimacy is one of those things that you're going to continue to grow in your marriage until the day that you die. So what she's looking for and, and women feel intimacy way different than men. All right. Let me tell you, women feel intimacy so much more uh, passionately than men do, or, or most men. Uh, there, there's probably some really passionate men out there, so I won't say it like that. But there are so many women. There, women are more likely to feel that much more passionate about intimacy. All right, they need it in the marriage. They need it in the relationship, and. She wants to feel comfortable talking about the things that she's insecure about with the man she's about to spend the rest of her life with. This is why you want to affirm her insecurities, because when you do that, it builds foundation in the marriage of trust and confidence that she can come and confide in you no matter what the situation is. You she knows that you see her as the the woman that you married the love of your life and that you're going to be together with her for the rest of your life and guys that builds a healthy beautiful wonderful wonderful marriage so wherever you are right now take notes on this because we're going to get into uh, some examples and things like that and some action steps towards the end of the the show here but if you're if you're driving, I get it. Don't stop the car and take notes. Um, if you are at the gym working out, just keep a mental note. Come back, replay this, take down the notes because this is. I, I think that all the content that is produced here on on the uh, husband coach, the the coach's corner is a great resource. But man, let me tell you, uh, affirming insecurities. This is something that you absolutely want to do. All right, so. By now, I think I've already uh, sold why you want to affirm your wife so much, uh, because right now, if she does not get that affirmation from you, there is the potential of her looking to find that affirmation from someone else. All right. We don't want our wives going out there looking for affirmation from another man or anything of the sort. All right. We, we want her to find the affirmation from us. And that's that. So let's spend the rest of the show talking about how we're actually going to affirm our wife. Here's a few options that you have available to you. Okay. So the first one, every day, choose one of those insecurities that you wrote down about your wife and go out of your way to give her a compliment or go over a short plan with her to overcome that insecurity. So here's an example, right? And your 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 marriage is going to be different than the example. I get it. The the goal here is for you to get an idea of what to do with with this first one of uh, every day finding an insecurity that you can affirm her on. All right. So the example I have here is she feels subconscious about a part of her body or just doesn't like a particular part of her body, whatever it is. Tell her she looks beautiful and you see her as the amazingly attractive woman that she is. Now, look, guys, this is like some some Jedi stuff right here. All right. When you go one, the first couple of times you do this, your wife isn't going to believe you. And you got to be genuine with this, all right? I'm not saying to lie to your wife. If there's if there's something that you don't find attractive about your wife, I'm not saying to lie to her about it. Uh, now, if you don't find it attractive about her, then that's something where you have to be, you know, real with yourself. But find a loving way to share that with your wife. Uh, now, if it's not something that she has any control over, then look, man, you got to get over that. You got to look into the beauty of of your wife. You got to look into the things that make her the unique individual that you vowed to, to spend the rest of your life with. All right. But when you see something that your wife, especially when it comes to a body part or anything of the sort, we want to make sure that we genuinely tell her, no, hey, I, I, I find you so, so beautiful and, and mean it from the bottom of your heart. All right. Because by doing this, one, you're boosting her self-esteem uh, and telling her how you really feel. 
this is a great communication opportunity uh, that you will learn and gain so much from. So take the time and every day affirm her on one of her insecurities. Number two, validate her emotions. This is one of the things that most husbands run from because emotions, they're, they're a little intimidating and man, emotions can be a bag of worms that you open up and you're like, I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, so let me, let me help you navigate these emotions or at least clarify what I mean by validating her emotions. Uh, one, emotions is one of the ways that she's going to express herself, and that's okay. She's got to express herself. And if you do not validate them, you're going to start to break down your foundation because she's going to believe that she has to hide things from you if she feels a certain way. And when she starts hiding things, then she's gonna, she has to confide in someone. It should be you. It might as well be you. It needs to be you. So don't don't run from her emotions when she's emotional, when she's crying, when she's angry. Don't run from it. Uh, embrace it. Again, we're not trying to fix our wives with this. We're, we're not trying to fix them. We're just listening and saying some things, you know, like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. Your feelings on that are completely valid. Or the most simple response is, yeah, <laughs> you're right. You know, and those are some very simple responses. But as soon as we do that, those are affirmations and we're validating the way that she feels about something. By doing this, you're going to gain so many brownie points because she's going to be like, you know what? I can trust my husband with some 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 of the, the things that I would probably, you know, depending on where you are in your relationship, if your wife has confide in you before and you kind of pushed her away like I don't want to hear about it you know go go talk to one of your friends uh don't do that that's a terrible idea don't have her talk to her friends she should feel comfortable with talking to you because that you are the person in charge of building a relationship with your wife if she builds it with her friends then you are missing the mark okay I, I can't say it any other any more clear. You're missing the mark if you're let, telling her to go talk to her friends about her problems uh, or her emotions, or if you're completely dismissing her emotions. That's just terrible. Now, again, I'm not bashing any husbands out there. If that's something that you're doing, I highly recommend that you stop doing that. I highly recommend that you stop doing that. There's no need for you to to bash your wife or. Um, to dismiss her emotions, just embrace them and acknowledge where she is and learn to work through it with her because it's just going to build your guys' marriage that, that much more. The third thing, and, and this is the last one of the uh, options slash examples, and then we'll get into the actual action steps that you can take this week and start implementing. The last one that I have here is observe the things that your wife is doing in the house in her personal time or at work or whatever, just pay attention. Look, the the number one thing that we can do as husbands is just pay attention to what is going on with our wives. So when you pay attention, we have to speak positivity into our wives, right? Uh, that's what we were. We should always be looking for opportunities to say, Something sweet and kind and uplifting to our wives, because when our wives get that from us, uh, you, you have to understand there's so many like little girls are mean. Assuming your wife grew up in America, in the United States, uh, she probably has encountered some form of bullying or some form of verbal abuse from other little girls because little girls are mean and uh, I have two daughters and I hear the stories of what my girls are telling me about other little girls that either one have directed the anger, frustration towards my children or towards some other kids. And little girls are mean. 
Now, you know, when I was growing up, yeah, there was bullying and and guys picking on us. But usually when another guy picks on another guy, it results in a fight. Uh, With girls, it's like extremely passive aggressive and really unhealthy to the subconscious mind. And so these girls, they grow up on eggshells of, okay, what are you going to say mean to me next? So we don't want that for our wives, all right? Now, I know that got a little bit deeper than it probably needed to be, but just understand that your wife is a whole person. She has a past. She has a history. She has interactions with people that you've never even met that really did pour into the way that she sees herself and the way that she treats herself, the way that she acts. So those are things that you got to take into context when your wife is... Uh, running in, you know, w- with your wife, observing the things, speaking positivity into our wives. Let's get back on track. See, we love her and we want her to be healthy and excited to be in the marriage with us by doing, by observing what she's doing and speaking positivity into our wives, even if it's something as simple as, hey, thanks for folding up the clothes today. Now, again, you have to come from a place of sincerity. Don't be th- like this uh, really, I don't know the word. Don't be a jerk. Yeah, let's just go with that. Don't be a, a jerk, all right? You have to come from a place of genuine love and respect for what it is that your wife did, okay? That's how we speak positivity. Uh, don't just look at something and be like, oh, yeah, great. Today, you dusted down the entertainment center, And you know that that's just, you know, a minor thing for her, whatever. See, when you ask her questions, you know, because she assuming your wife works, if this fits you, then this is a perfect opportunity. When you ask her questions uh, about what happened at work that day, look for ways of being one present in the conversation. Uh, Put down your phone, pay attention to what she's saying and ask her questions that will help you get to the things you can affirm in that day. Don't let her just say, ah, it was fine. You got to be like, okay, and you got to give me, you know, and and kind of play with your wife here because uh, sometimes there are just mediocre days, right? We all have mediocre days, but maybe this is a, a great opportunity for you to play around with your wife a little bit and, you know, kind of poke at her and be like, all right, well, that's great. How about you tell me just a little bit more because I'm really interested in what it is that made your day that mediocre and, you know, get her to to open up a little bit uh, because we want to build dialogue and a safe space for our wife to really tell us like, well, you know, today I actually misfiled a whole bunch of documents. I don't know, making up some stuff on the fly here. But and it really set me back. And then you can be like, oh, okay. well, uh, did you were you able to recover? And if the answer to that is yes, you can be like, look at that. You're a go getter. You figured it out. That's what I'm talking about. That's my wife. That's my baby, as Martin would say. All right. These are things that speak positivity. She's probably going to laugh at you or be like, yo, man, you, you stupid. And and that's fine. That's fine. Right. But what she what you really did in that moment is you gave her a sense of encouragement that she can overcome a lot of things because adversity is out there and there's challenges and there's problems and we're just going to get hit with them left and right. So affirming your wife, it's important and is one of the love languages uh, that you know we've talked about kind of in the past, but it is a love language. Even though it's not... It doesn't necessarily have to be your wife's number one love language for you to do this on a regular basis, right? We want to build our wives up, and that's exactly what affirming them does. We're validating them because think about it. When you're validated in something that you're doing, you get a little bit more excited. You get a little bit more perked up like, huh? Yeah, look at that. I did do that. All right. All right. Yeah. That's what we're doing with our wives, And just because they're women doesn't mean that they don't like to be affirmed because that's a lie. They love to be affirmed. Women love compliments. Give them compliments. You give the you give a, a woman a compliment. She will smile from ear to ear if it's a genuine compliment. All right. And and women can tell when you're not being genuine with your compliments. 
So make sure that you're being genuine about it. When we affirm our wife, it also makes her feel more excited to come see us and to come see us. Uh, it makes our wives feel that much more excited when they see us because they're like, oh, look, there's my man. I know that he loves me. That's what we want our wives to feel. That's what we want our wives to do when they see us. We want them to draw closer to us so we can build that relationship. Now, like I promised, there's gonna, I'm, I'm going to leave you uh, with a few action steps. All right. So number one, write down the things that you know your wife is insecure about. All right. Whatever they are, write them down. doesn't matter if you type them into a Google Docs or if you write them onto a notebook. If you've listened to the five part series that I that I uh, released earlier in the in the podcast show series, then you'll be able to you should have a notebook already if you've been using that uh, where you're keeping a lot of this information. So that's almost a no brainer. But you want to write down the insecurities that your wife has. All right. And if you don't know what they are, you need to start figuring those things out because we want to be the Superman that can solve or not necessarily solve. We want to be there to love our wives in her insecurities. Number two, plan out what day you're going to affirm each of those insecurities. So like I said, in the first option that we have every day, you should be looking for something that your wife is insecure on and then reaching out to her and saying, Hey, you know, you look really beautiful today. You know, I really appreciate the fact that you get up and go to work, especially if she didn't have to. These are things that you can do every single day and there could be a level of insecurity or you can say, Hey, you know what? Here's the plan that I have. I I know that you're a little concerned about finances right now, but here's the plan that I think is going to be beneficial for our future as husband and wife, or if you have kids, then for the family, whatever. All right. Number three, action step. Observe what your wife is doing every single day and affirm her on at least two things that she did that day. Now, if you're looking for like step number three should probably solve itself if you do the first two steps that I just mentioned here. All right. If you do the first two steps, then you've already affirmed her on two things. Now, this this isn't an exact science. Some days you're going to be able to affirm her more frequently and other days you're going to have to, you know, maybe only you get one one opportunity to affirm her. And then there's days when you may not even see her or be able to talk to her and you're not going to be able to affirm her. You know, obviously take number three. uh, I don't know. Number three will probably solve itself. And then the last one that I have, look for opportunities to hear your wife's feelings, emotions, or feelings and emotions, and just be a listening, loving husband, and then affirm those feelings. Number four is gold, guys. Like, number four is the thing that is going to build the most trust in your relationship, in your marriage. It's going to strengthen the way that your wife feels about you. It's going to do so much more then you even know you got it. You got to do this one, guys. Find opportunities to hear your wife's feelings and the emotions that she has. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it right there. And until the next time, find a way to love your wife every day.